What's up guys, your boy Durskin, and we are back again with another video, and today we're going to be going over um, the update info. Now, the update comes out tomorrow, but um, big shout out to the um, 7 Deadly Sins Discord. They got all the information for us and everything like that. They got us on lock, man. So, um, we're going to be going over everything that's going on and all that stuff. So, starting out... A little something coming soon for all y'all Elizabeth fans. Korean Forum hasn't updated with much on this, so keep posted. Now, um, we've already seen this art before, which I can actually show you guys, right? I can actually show y'all what I'm talking about. Uh, we've actually seen this art before, though. Uh, where is it at? Character Artworks. Um... Mm -mm -mm. Where's it at? Where's it at? Hold on, let me get to the Elizabeth. This this is the artwork right here, right? So this so we're getting I don't know if this is a new I'm pretty sure this isn't a new Elizabeth. I'm pretty sure this is just a skin for the Hawk Elizabeth uh card, right? Cuz there's like two of them, right? So I'm pretty sure this is just going to be a skin for those two. Anyways, going back to what I was talking about. So we're getting that then uh, we're getting a new hot card, right? Um, first skill attacks one enemy with 450% of attack and deals additional 30% per buff on Elizabeth. Um, second skill removes all debuffs from allies and increases endurance by 10% per debuff removed. And all oh, attacks one enemy with 700% of attack while ignoring defense. That's a lot, actually. Um, here's the cards right here. So... You have Hawk right there. Boom. This is the passive, which we got that right here. Um, passive. Allied HP increases by 10% for each debuff effect on the character. That's pretty good. Um, moving on. Also, tomorrow's maintenance will include the later half of Chapter 6. Okay? Uh, this update adds new chapters you've been looking forward to at the same time as new characters are released. The maximum number of player ranks is increased to 55. That's really good because I'm actually max level. Max level right now is 50. I'm level 50. I'm pretty happy. They're gonna release. They're gonna uh, increase it to 55. I'm just gonna max out my uh, account again. So that's fine. Um, but the new login, guys. On the first day, we get an SSR ticket, boys. 712, five diamonds. 713, three stamina potions, one gold dungeon key. 714, five diamonds. Then we get uh, five training potions, uh, five green evolution books, five diamonds, three stamina potions, one dungeon key, five diamonds, training potions, red books, five diamonds, three stamina potions, one event key, um, five diamonds, and then we get blue book. Yo, it is time. That's so good, guys. That is so good, right? That's amazingly good. And we get this, the SSR ticket on the first one, right? We don't got to wait. Anyways, moving on, right? I wanted to show you guys this. Um, this right here. Apparently, we are able to use co get coin shop characters whenever we want now, right? So pretty much, coin shop sell characters at all times. Characters that were available in rotation at coin shops will also be available at all times. And if you want to buy a character that's on sale at all times, you can buy it with seven platinum coins. Rotation is also sold. If you want to buy a character from rotation, you can buy it with five platinum coins as before. Now, what that what they're talking about, right? What they mean is um here, let me let me show you. I was actually grinding some stuff right now. Uh move this down real quick. Alright, so if we go right here and go to the coin shop. Alright. So you see how Merlin is five coins, right? Merlin's five coins. So, if Merlin is on rotation, all of these other units cost seven coins. But you can get them at any time, right? Now, whenever her rotation switch, she'll be worth she'll be seven coins because it's not her rotation. So pretty much, if you want to buy the unit on rotation, it costs five coins. If you want to buy the a unit that's not on rotation, it'll be seven coins. Um, same applies for this, right? If you want to buy one of these units while they're on rotation, it'll cost twenty coins. But if you want to buy them while they're not on rotation, it'll cost 30, right? So that's how it's going to be. Same applies here, right? You could buy one of these characters for 20 coins, 
on rotation. If they're not on rotation, they cost 30 coins. But these cost silver coins. These cost gold coins. Um, now, um, I mean, I have every unit in, the, in here, so I'm chilling. Uh, but the thing about that is, you're going to have to pull two more dupes to get a unit. Honestly, it's just better to wait, in my opinion. But the fact that you can buy it whenever you want, if you want, is still very, very good. So, um, that is pretty much it for the update info. Update info, not the update. But anyways, uh, so with that being said, <clears throat> that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. We are almost at 10K subscribers. Boys, we are close. Um, like I said, like the video, comment down below, all that jazz. And with that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace.